Fredericksburg is such a beautiful place, and, and it was, um, when I first came here in 1998, I was amazed at the, the variety of trees that Fredericksburg had. We had small Bradford pears, we had medium-sized Bradford pears, we had large-sized Bradford pears. Everywhere you went, there was a Bradford pear tree. Um, and before I came to the city, my wife had worked downtown for a little while at the, I think it's the Noxana building at the corner of William Street and um, Char Charles Street, I believe. And I remember um, I worked in Northern Virginia at the time, and she would, she would come home in the evenings, and at certain times of the year, the car would just be plastered with the berries from the Bradford pear trees. And I said, my gosh, you know, can you park somewhere else along the city street? And she said, not really, because they're everywhere along the city streets. So um, I said, well, someone needs to do something about that, about those trees in downtown Fredericksburg. And so I guess that, you know, things have a way of working out. And so I came to the city um, in 1998, and, I, and that was one of, one of my first, well, was already an observation of mine was, you know, we do need to do something about the diversity of trees that we have throughout the city. Um, and so we, we started, we started uh, to work on that. Mother Nature helped us out quite a bit in, I think it was 2003 when Hurricane Isabel came through and we lost probably a th over a thousand trees throughout the city. It just devastated um, our urban forest throughout the city. Um, it, it really cleaned house for us. And that was, I think, my low point. I mean, I, I was just devastated by the, the loss of trees that we had throughout the city at that time. So it wasn't long after that when um, our um, city manager at that time and our, our council members and community uh, uh, leaders decided, you know, we really needed to do something. And so in 2005, actually I think it was in 2004 when it started, we put together a, a street tree uh, committee, a, a committee to look at our street trees. And if there's anyone here, I know Carolyn was one, I think if there's anyone here who's still from that 2005 street tree committee, could you raise your hands? I'd like to identify you all. Uh, there's David Dorsey I see back there in the back. I can actually see that far. <laughs> Carolyn, Hel Carolyn Helfridge up here. So those folks put in a lot of time back in the early 2000s and mid-2000s to, to take a look at, you know, what do we have left here throughout the city on a, from a street tree um, 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 inventory? And then through that to look at where do we have gaps, where, where's our priorities, what should we start doing in the near future and for the long term to help um, improve our, our urban forest throughout the city. And um, I think, you know, through that, that was the genesis for a lot of things that we did a after that and are still doing today. So uh, my hat's off to everyone who participated in, in that. And that, like I say, that, that kind of got us started. So from there, um, there, it's so wonderful to see so many people here today. We. I can't think, I mean, I could be up here all day long thanking everyone, so I'm not even going to try to do it, um, but other than I want to thank the uh, the council members for all of the support uh, that they've given us. Uh, there were year, when I first started, we had virtually no budget for trees. Everything that we planted, we, we scrounged and found some place, put it, I think we actually put it at our wastewater plant where we had a little nursery there and let it, let it grow up, and then we'd pull that stock out and plant it somewhere. So we. We, we scrounged through our budgets to, to find money to buy trees. Now now we actually have a tree planting budget and, um, and it helps a lot with purchasing trees and supplies to sustain our, our program. So we appreciate the council members for, for all of the support they've given us for that. Um, appreciate the, the council garden clubs for all of their support for um, things such as our annual Arbor Day ceremony. We couldn't have this without their support as well as all the plantings and the, and the landscaping work that they, they help us with. There's just an immense amount of landscaping work that, that is done uh, through their expertise and their, their help. Um, I think that, that takes me back as, as I think about planting. When I think what kind of got me started um, thinking about trees and, and environmental science and trees is kind of my, my background. I can remember um, with my dad, um, as a little child, he would go out and find um, pine trees, small small little seedlings, and bring them back. And we would plant them. I remember throughout our our mostly along the border borders of our yard, 
and um, and then put little cages around them to protect them. And uh, it was it was fun work back then, and it was kind of nice to see what what you did. You could see you know when you're done for the day, you could see where you planted these small pine trees, and then got I got to watch them grow and grow into tall pine trees. And so that I, I still have that memory of, of of with my dad, who's now passed away, of uh, being able to to uh, to enjoy trees at an early age, and that just again, I kind of just kept with me, and I, I kept growing from uh, from, from that point. Um, I also want to thank thank our uh, our staff. We have one of the greatest um, staffs I think uh, that we could ever imagine who work on our trees and both you know plant and prune and trim and take care of our trees. They come in when we have storm damage. Um, and uh, fortunately, because we don't have as many bread for pear trees nowadays, we don't, we don't have as much storm damage. So that's, that's a plus. But uh, we have a hardworking group of um, folks, both within our public works department, as well as with our parks department, who also we're now promoting a lot, lot more trees within our parks, which is, which is in addition to our street trees, you know, we, we like to have trees in our parks. And so they're, they're doing a lot more work within our parks department too. So it's, it is truly a, a community effort to come, um, to, to come together and, and, and grow our, our urban forest here with the city. I can't, I can't thank you all enough for the support you've given me. I mean, I've been here since 1998, as, as Ann mentioned, um, but truly all I did was just encourage others and support others to, to do what we've done here. This is, none, none of this could have been done just by me alone. This just really does take a, a community to, to have what we have here today. And I will tell you that I still get questions and messages from around the state and outside the state who ask, how did you do what you, or how are you doing what you're doing here in Fredericksburg with your urban forest? I mean, we really have become a, a model um, community for the way we uh, have tr have our urban forest uh, throughout the city, both with um, you know, with the city staff and the city doing the things that they do, as well as the volunteers and the community. How they how we all kind of come together to make this work for the city. We, no no one group could do this alone, and I think that's where some other communities struggle is. They may have a, you know, one group or another trying to do it all, but you really can't. You have to, we all have to come together. And I will say while I'm having to fly over, <laughs> whoever had a, whoever was able to arrange today's uh, beautiful weather, I really appreciate that. This is probably one of the nicest Arbor days as far as weather goes that I can, can, that I can remember. I know we've had a lot of cold, rainy days for Arbor Day. In fact, um, Tom Snoddy and I were just reminiscing about how it wasn't too many years ago we held the uh, event at the, on the steps of City Hall, I think, in a, in a pouring rain. So this, this is really a gorgeous day today. So I don't want to belabor, um, belabor my talk. I don't want to sound like an Academy Award or anything. But I, I truly do want to thank all of you for the honor and the privilege of being able to work with you all. Um, on our tree program and as we all say we don't plant for today we plant for our future generations so it's nice to know that what we've done here over the past few years are things that will be enjoyed for generations to come.